Hello everybody, RMJ Movie Reviews back again. I'm coming with a, a really quick review of a film that uh, one of my uh, one of my friends that I used to work with, who I haven't seen in a couple years, um, he actually recommended me uh, a horror film called It Follows. And I guess this is like an independent horror film that's like been having a lot of internet buzz. I, I had heard little things about it, but I just actually came across it at Redbox at Walgreens, so I picked it up and checked it out. Um, you know, uh... I'll say um, it was a pleasant surprise. Um, I didn't. I only heard little rumblings about the film, so I wasn't. I didn't have like high expectations. I didn't know about all these rave reviews until I just after I saw the movie. Um, I'd say as as an as a film that's entertaining to me. Uh, I wasn't necessarily one hundred percent entertained by it. But as a an original horror uh, horror picture in this climate of, and I'm gonna constantly knock the Poltergeist remake, but in the climate of the Poltergeist remake and and PG thirteen this this and that and all that all this garbage that's coming out right now, it is a very fresh uh, a really fresh uh, kind of. Uh, uh, New horror picture. I'm not gonna call it a throwback. A lot of people are calling it a throwback, a throwback to the '70s and the in the '80s. I I just don't see that. I I see it as you know a whole idea of there's some entity that's following you in its past via uh, sex with people. I think it's a cool idea. Um, kind of where the movie fell short personally for me as a viewer was. I didn't particularly like the fact that the entity looked like random people. Uh, in my personal opinion, knowing a little bit more about filmmaking, I, I was just wondering if that was just kind of like they changed it because of budget, you know, and they're just like, hey, we can hire him, him, him and jump in whenever we want. You know, I, I didn't particularly care for that. But I will say the gag on the beach with the hair and uh, uh, there was a couple gags that were really creepy. Uh, particularly the one where the girl they were in the house and the big tall dude came out from behind her. That was a creepy gag. I really liked it. I, I didn't particularly find the film scary or unsettling to me, but I will say it, it definitely had some creepy stuff in it. Um, I would have wished more. There would have been a singular kind of uh, villain or at least two villains or whatever, but I didn't like the random switching of the of the actors and I would have liked to know a little more about it, you know, and I would have liked for the picture to have wrapped up a little bit better. Um, the performances were good. They're about what you expect from, from this, uh, kind of movie. Everybody did a good job. Of course, like everybody's been saying, uh, the music is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I, I kind of wish people would do more synth scores, I guess like when people were talking about some throwback to the 80s, I guess that's what they're talking about is the synth score. And it's it's fantastic. I love it. The cinematography, absolutely top-notch, fantastic for a small movie like it is. Uh, and, you know, the movie is shot in Detroit. And I guessed that when I was watching it, but I wasn't for sure. The Detroit setting is really creepy. It's really foreboding. Uh, you know, uh, I, I really like that aspect of the picture. So for me, uh, it was a marginally OK film. Uh, it's a fresh view for all the stuff that we got out here right now. So I say for hardcore horror fans who can take a look at any kind of picture and they, they don't have to have their horror a certain way. You know, I'd recommend it, you know, for casual viewers, stay away because you'll just hate it anyway and you'll hate on it. And as far as it ripping off Carpenter like a lot of people they even say ripping off Carpenter but I mean I can kind of sense it there is like two shots that definitely mimic the original 78 version of Halloween for sure the one in the classroom is straight like the Jamie Lee scene looking at Michael Myers across the street but um 
You know, I can see, you know, the foreground, the background, using the whole frame, widescreen. Yeah, that's Carpenter-esque, you know, creepy men standing way in the background. Yeah, that's very much like Halloween. But, you know, I, I, I thought it was an original take. Uh, from my point of view, it was an okay film, but, uh, you know, definitely a big refresher. So that's my review of It Follows. I'll be coming up with my next crime movie review of, I don't know. You guys will just have to find out when I do it. All right. RMJ Movie Reviews, I will talk to you soon. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, share some comments.